What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the stream. It is Saturday. It's day three of Mountain Series. We have a very interesting and exciting day coming up today. I think uh, we have the $320 buy-in Mountain Series. We have the $530 buy-in Mountain Series. We have two home games scheduled today. Uh, it's Saturday. There's a bunch of great satellites. There's a bunch of great VIP tournaments. So uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Thank you guys for being here. But uh, we already got six tables going. So let's, let's jump into the action. We are shoving Ace Jack suited for 14 and a half big blinds in the middle position. Here we get called immediately behind from Stonic. Whoa! Stonic stepping up has been making a couple really wide calls. They are going to win here. But uh, definitely a little bit too wide to call with the Ace 4 there. Let's go here. We turn a straight draw. Close bets. Oh, that was the wrong table. We turn a straight draw, so let's bet. And then we get raised to 300 and we'll just fold our crappy jaw. It's fine. Um, Elaine, hello. Hi. Is it lunchtime? Well, I'm just coming down to check. How are you scheduled? I'm using break. Um, break is in 40 minutes. I can take lunch whenever, though. So okay. we go. Yeah. <laughs> I just picked up a copy of Stapes' new book, Play Poker Like the Joes. The key to poker is to when you lose a big lot, play lots of pots after that because they got you got to get those chips back. Uh, perfect. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> we go in. <laughs> let's uh, let's go over here where we have kings. I kind of want to let the short stacks in, but I feel like we're just gonna go eight ways or something if I flat. So we will uh, we'll three bet now. And both opponents cover us, which is fine, you know? Like, if they flop a queen, they're not going to be folding, given the bounty. That's good. Um, but at the same time, you know, we can't get a bounty ourselves, which is too bad. Accepting more people into the home game, I feel like we're definitely going to get that 36 mark. we have accepted five people in the last couple seconds. Back at a call, we see an eight on the turn. Man, I set up the sizes terribly again. I really need to remember to do that well. That is my mistake. So now do we go less than all in, or do we go all in? I think we go less. We do give good prices to a draws here, but I think shoving is not what we want to do. Queen of the river. They check. I don't know if we can value that. I'm assuming they're shoving, like snap shoving all queens here because of the bounty. Is it too thin to shove? Yeah, I don't think they're going to call with anything else, so... Even though I don't think they have a queen when they check the river, like it's really hard, I don't think they can call when we shove. So. We check back. If they would have dunk shoved there, we may have had to fold. <coughs> and we have ace king first hand of the home game, like it's no big deal. You know? Just like it's no big deal. Let's go back up to our $11 eight max for 13 of 14, $54 earned. I'm gonna fold to that open. Betting very small against Fiber Optic with the, uh, I mean, I guess the third nuts, right? Any deuce, aces, kings full. So fourth nuts. Now fifth nuts. But we're trying to get called by worse. So we have to bet quite small. Oh my god! Oh no! Let's go up to the biggest d5 with 8. So we raise, get called, let's bet. Get called, we see a 3 on the turn. I'm going to bet quite small here. I think at the best hand, if I check, things get blown out of proportion. 10 of the river, we check call. That 10 makes it less likely they have a 10. All the draws missed. Um, so I think it's a pretty good spot to call. They bet 280. Not the size we exactly want to see here, but I still think we have to call. Um, getting 5 to 1. Just under 5 to 1. I have to win 1 in 6 times. We do beat King Jack. Would have been a lot more comfortable if we saw a bigger size bet, to be honest. But a bit of 193 on the river. It's not a size I'd expect to see by a straight very often. I'm probably going to turn my hand into a bluff here. Uh, obviously, if they have a straight, they're never folding. But I'm trying to put a lot of pressure. Oh my god! The raise for value! Holy crap! Rickstar! That is wide, buddy. I thought I was bluffing, but I was value betting. With the knockout, I peel. 
I peel with the knockout. That was on fire. <laughs> Alright, we see a pretty decent flop for us given the knockout situation. Um, Actually, I thought I had 9-8. I have 10-9. So there's a couple of bad turns, like Queen of King and Ace. But I still think checking back is better than betting. Even with those three cards that are bad. And we see a 5 of diamonds on the turn. They overbet shove. I mean, we call? I don't know. Like, we... <laughs> we need to win, like, probably 42% of the time here. The thing is, we get there 19% of the time, and then we can knock them out. Uh, which is great. And this doesn't make any sense. So we just see, like, aces sometimes here that are doing weird things. Sometimes we see a jack. But then, like, what if they just have a flush draw? <laughs> then it's just, like, a huge disaster to fool. A huge disaster. So I think we just call. And then if they shove, we fold. Ugh. The only reason we can call, I think, is because of the bounty. If there wasn't a bounty, we'd fold, but we'll call. And they have a draw. And they get their boat, so do we. So we get that $75 cash. We get the chips. That was an insane play. Wow. Raise get a call, we flop two pair. This isn't a big booty, by the way. So we're gonna bet. Come on, choke. Put it in, buddy. That king of the turn really doesn't change much. I'm gonna bet, even though it's a bad barrel card for us, because I think we need to try and get the bounty. We need to try. So we're gonna bet on this turn, even though we check back with a lot of our range, we have to try anyways. None in the river is great. The one only obvious draw got there, which is perfect. So let's uh, shove the river. Snap call. We got him, you guys. Give me that booty. 37.50 coming our way. Again, this was in the package for the people that bought a piece. So we got another bounty now in the 109 Bounty Builder plus 7,700, which is good. Sat next to you in the 109 Bounty Builder, Lunchy Moog. There it is. Hey, man, I'm about to shove on you. What's up, dude? <laughs> What's up, man? Welcome. Got the yellow tag. Get a raise and a call. And I think we shove, yeah, we do shove. Sick Pastor is opening quite a lot of hands. I expect people to hunt for bounties, which is fine, but Queen Jack Suited has a lot of equity. Folds around to the button, damn. Sick Pastor raise folding. And we get a call by sixes, we have a flip, that's a jack, hold! There it is, you guys, 7,200, no bounty, but we're back in like a bounty hunting chip stack position, which is good. And our opponent has three big blinds, so we're all with 10 eight. Against King Knight, we have 38%. We need to hit some straight cards. Nope, we don't do it. Ah, uh, yeah, the 91k pot is going that way. We have Ace King, though. It's pretty good. Why is Taco P considered a better poker player than you? He is a better poker player, man. He plays the highest stakes. He's been playing tournaments for longer than me, and against better opponents, he's just, he's a crusher, man. He's very, very good. Yeah, I think we call. Guaranteed 93 bucks, but I think this Ace King is too strong to fold. I wish I could model ICM with 13 people, but I think Ace King is just like, we, we go with it. So this is gonna make or break our tournament. If we win this hand, we have a pretty good shot at winning the whole tournament. If we lose, we're out. We need an Ace, a King, or a Club, or a 7, or a 3 for the side pot. How do we break? All right, we get 12th place, you guys, for $93 GG. That's about it. All right, so what's gonna happen? We're gonna play some Slither. Ditto. We're gonna play some video games. We gave it a run. Um, I'm gonna stop the stream briefly to reset the delay. So it's gonna be blank for about 20 seconds, and then I'm gonna come back with no delay, and we're gonna start the video games for two hours tonight. But that was a solid nine and a half hours of poker, so hopefully you guys enjoyed. I had a good time. Uh, slight losing day. Slight losing day, just a small one. Um, so yeah, quick restart. If you're here for poker, We'll see you later, but Slither is pretty fun and it's free to play for everyone, so maybe you want to stick around. Yo, Familia. Hello, everyone. I'm trying to get this camera good. 
you know? It's like, I want it right in the middle of the 